Do you want to know how to make a dice using Scratch just like this? Hello, welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do so. So let's get started. First, go to scratch.mit.edu, link in the description below. Create a new project. Name this project Dice. Now, we don't have to delete the cast right. Well done. Let's go to the Costumes tab and delete it over here. Sorry, Cat Sprite. Select this rectangle tool and hold on Shift to draw a square. All right. Now set the fill color to none and the outline to black with a thickness of four. Select the circle tool with the fill color as black and hold on shift to draw a perfect circle. Name this costume costume number one. Now in the cat sprite you also have a costume number two of the cat. Delete that and duplicate the first one we made of the dice. Now select the circle, click on copy and paste it. Put one circle on one corner and put the other one on the opposite corner. Just like this. Duplicate this and now click on paste and align this one to the center. Duplicate this, delete the one in the center. Hold on shift to select both of the, the circles at the same time. Copy, paste, hold, hold the rotate tool to rotate it just like this. Alright, great job. Duplicate it again. Select one circle, copy, paste it in the center again. Duplicate it, delete the one in the center. Hold on shift to select two circles at a time, copy, paste, and make this in the center. Alright, we're done making our dice. Now, name this sprite dice. Drag in a one green flag clipped. Yes, we're moving on to the code. It's pretty simple. We'll first set the size to 100. We'll set the coordinates to x0 and y0. Drag in a repeat 15. This is so that we can have a cool animation. Make a variable called roll for all sprites. Set roll to a pick random from 1 to 6. Because we have 6 costumes, so it'll pick a random value from 1 to 6. It won't pick a random value, it won't pick a random costume from 1 to 6. It'll pick a random value because a variable is a placeholder of numbers, strings, even booleans, etc. So we're not storing like a costume, we're storing a number, a random value. So how do we make sure that this costume will switch to whatever the value role is? So for that, we'll drag in a switch costume to and replace this drop down option with role. Now, Wait 0.1 seconds for the animation to commence. Awesome. Now take the repeat 15 loop. I prefer putting this in a my block because it makes stuff a lot more organized. And if I want to use this block again, I can easily go to the my block section and drag it in. So make a block. Name it dice with no inputs or a label. Only a label actually. Click on OK and attach it to the repeat loop. Clean up the blocks. Now let's call this block. Drag in the dice right below to the go to x and y coordinates. Alright, so now the, one, the green flag is clicked. Yes, it's working. So if we don't have this repeat 15 loop and without this wait 0.1 seconds, we won't have the animation. We'll just directly have the dice. But I think it's pretty cool adding the animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the repeat 15 loop. You also notice that the value of roll is the exact same costume as in the dice, meaning that suppose the value of roll is one, then it can switch the costume to costume number one. That's exactly what we did over here. So we switched the costume to whatever roll is. For example, if the pick random value, the value was um, three, then the costume would switch to costume number three. 
So that's what I meant by this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I've also put this project link in the description below, so check it out now. You can also go to the studio and you can click on Dice Project. And remember to follow the studio. There are tons of different projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year.